with a little black frame I got off a lawnmower. <clears throat> then there's two pieces of aluminum that are mounted to that. Then there's this motor that I pulled apart and kept the bearings and the rotor and the pulley. Mounted the bell ends housings on these aluminums. And then the magnets go right on the rotor itself so I can spin it. And I'll put little coils up against the magnets when they go by. And hopefully not much resistance but enough little voltage to charge a car battery with the water wheel over a long period of time. I love you. Hi, Scott here in my canary suit and such. Let me show you what I got. Okay, the snow melted and the runoff's here and now I got more water than I can use. And there you go. Update shortly. Okay, folks, there it is. I have a little extra water. The wheel is turning a dryer belt. And I have a precarious situation running my little homemade generator. So there it is. The four poles. Everything's going to get wet. I don't care. The bearings are sealed. The dimium magnets. Neodymium magnets are JB welded to that rotor, and I got it coming right out into this 12 2 going all the way up around the tree up the good hundred feet here. And then I'll show you what I got at the other end. There, I got it on zoom. I'll try to hold it still. There's the wheel, there's the wire. The wire comes up to some telephone wire. And this is the wire that I use for Ed's rigging out to pilot the devices. I've got splices all the way down through the woods, and I've got nice little rain cups. All right, we'll go inside. There's the wire. All right, 18, 17, 19, 17, 18, you get the idea. It's disconnected right now, so that's... I'll connect it up through my little diode, which I'll show you in a second. I just want you to see that now the voltage drops to 11 or so, but that's really more. Here is battery voltage. If I can find the... That's battery voltage. And I have an ammeter that's telling me I have, woo -hee, 50 to 60 milliamps coming up from the river and charging this bank of batteries. That's the input voltage. That's the battery voltage. The input voltage comes off of this rectifier which literally is fed by the AC that comes up through the wire and then comes into here through that bridge rectifier then I'm sensing the voltage out of it, and then I'm going through this little diode here just to make sure there's no back feed, no bleed off or anything, and that drops the voltage just enough to push the little 18 volts, 19 volts over the 12.6 volt wall, and I get my current differential. All right, I'll throw a couple more shots of the wheel and its rotating neodymiums for your viewing pleasure. I'm finally happy I got a trickle charge down here. Now I need to improve the wheel and make it much bigger. I don't want to get greedy, but let's face it, that thing I have down there, <laughs> can't be sure. Over and out for a second, here comes some views.
Hi folks, Scott here. I had to video this because I came down here and the belt had fallen off. And so I'm presuming the reason that there's no ice or water around the wheel, I mean why it's around the wheel is because it took off like you just saw. Now the belt's caught up again. Oh, chunks of ice are falling off, so it's trying to turn free again. We'll just film it and sit here and watch it. The ice is almost off of it. It was cool before. Anyway, the belt fell off of it because the alternator is too big. I didn't have it on tight and such. And it started spinning probably in the middle of the night, thus creating this mess all over where you don't see it anywhere else. It's all right here, splattered. So when that ice breaks off, which I'll break it off. I'm going to stop the camera and break it off and film what happens. All right, well, that's not breaking anything off. I just gave it a spin and it caught. So another piece should fly off in a minute. But anyway, what you see spinning that water all over is what happened last night. And it made this pretty little mess, which is kind of dangerous. But for now, I'll just keep filming it for the sake of filming something kind of cool. Maybe a piece of ice will come flying off and it'll spin even faster. But it's doing pretty good right now with all that weight on it.